Hi, I'm Ben Pinder. I'm the PR account manager at Red Stag Media. And in this week's Agri Marketing Mastery, we're looking at why content marketing is important for agri businesses. Um, I've touched on um, actually developing some content marketing uh, stuff in one of the previous videos, but I think everyone at this point understands what content marketing is. We're looking at blogs and uh, valuable content that's really helping to uh, get you found and drive search. But what I wanted to do uh, in this video was particular was look at just why it's so important for your business and why you need to think very carefully about implementing your own content marketing strategies. So content marketing is about um, direct communication with your customer. It's not selling. What it is is you sharing some valuable insights and really helping to demonstrate that you are the expert in your particular field or industry and really starting to build up that trust and um, show those insights that you have. What you're actually getting people to do is to think a little bit differently. You're showing maybe a different way to do something about how your product or your services can help to achieve or overcome a particular problem. So they're about changing behaviour, getting people to think differently and um, approach something from a different angle. Um, in doing this, what we're, we're doing with content marketing is starting to build a relationship with the customer. You're starting to share that um, valuable information and it's building up that element of trust and um, starting to create a rapport with those people. So put simply, content marketing is you sharing valuable in-season content that's going to overcome the problems for the farmers, help them address any key challenges they've got and really help them to up the game in whatever they're doing. And in exchange for that valuable in-season content, you're going to get that brand loyalty. So looking actually at the, the reason for content marketing and why it's important, we've discovered some research that shows that 70% of buying decisions are now made online in that um, farming and agricultural community. So, and that, that figure is actually supported by some research we've done ourselves with a customer. We've just run a recent survey and one of the, the really standout facts of that is the fact that farmers are now far more reliant on internet research to actually inform their buying decisions when it comes to a whole range of products and issues. And that's ahead of some of what you'd expect traditionally, which might be word of mouth or recommendations from other farmers. So it's a really important statistic to understand that farmers now are far more than ever going online to overcome these key challenges. And that's really what this is about. So I think, um, you know, we know that farmers now, if they've got a problem, they're going online, typing in the question into Google and they're looking for their answers. What that means is normally they've gone off found the solution to the problem, they're well versed in it, well researched, they understand what it's about. And in many instances, they'll have found what they need from maybe one of your competitors, bought it and moved on, and you would have never have even known they are looking for it. So to try and bring to life why content marketing is important, just think about your own buying journeys. You know, what was the last thing you searched for on Google? When you went onto it, you were looking to buy something, you searched for it, you were looking about where it's available locally, you read some reviews on it, you compared prices across some of the different channels and you even went on social media and asked some friends for some recommendations. And what you've got to remember is that farmers are doing the same and this is where content marketing comes in. It helps to ensure that your content is out there, it's demonstrating the values of your product or service, it shows that you know exactly what you're talking about and you've got some great examples out there exactly of how it's been impacted people on the ground and that's by producing all of this content, getting it out there, you found, people trust you and they're gonna buy. So to just add a little bit more weight to that argument in terms of why content's important, it's actually looking at the, the specific uh, market in agriculture and farmers in particular. And what we've got to remember is that farmers are very shrewd. Anything they do is usually well researched, they, they're highly educated when it actually comes to the purchasing point. And what you've got to remember is most of the products they're buying in this sector are highly complex, so they need lots of information about it. They need to really dig deep to understand what it's going to do. And that complexity also brings a high cost, which means it's a very complex buying journey, actually getting a farmer over the finishing line to buy your product. So think back to this and how they're getting there. They're searching for it. They've identified your product. They're going to start reading some reviews online. They're going to go through your blogs and your content to actually understand how it works, what the benefits are, where you're seeing you know, research you're sharing, videos showing how it's used, and then actually seeing some examples of other people who've used that product to help them understand where the benefits are and start to build that trust. They know you're being generous with your insights. You can clearly show that what you say is true 
and it starts to build up those re relationships and it starts to then even building more recommendations from other sources because they're seeing your content, they're sharing it, they're building it and it's really starting to build some momentum behind your brand. The other thing to consider is with farmers, it is a very small pool of customers relatively. When you're looking at other sectors, there's um, a, a limited number of farmers. So that one advantage of that is that means one piece of content can resonate with pretty much your whole audience. It's quite easy to do, build something that you're going to engage across a whole audience, which means you're having the maximum impact. The other element is that it means you've got to prove you're trustworthy and reliable because word will soon spread if that's not the case. And if you are proven to be trustworthy and reliable, it's going to go back to those recommendations that are going to be bouncing around and coming back to you. So as I've said, content builds trust. It builds loyalty and the key thing about loyalty in farming, you've only got to think about some of the tractor brands and things like that that farmers are still wearing the clothing today that they've had since being a teenager. But that loyalty can last for generations. Many of you will know that when you go onto a farm, they're still buying from a particular brand because the great granddad started buying it because they had a good relationship with the salesman many years ago. So content helps to actually start to build those relationships, build up that brand loyalty that can last for generations. But you don't have to just take my word for it. I think um, you'll have seen in many instances the furrow, which is John Deere's um, publication, and it is see, perceived not just in agriculture, but across the entire sort of marketing world that um, the furrow is the original gangster, the original content marketer. It's where it all began. Uh, so John Deere created the furrow back in 1897, and it was just a journal that they could share with their loyal customer base, primarily in the States, obviously starting off. But it shared some... Great, valuable in-season content, as I've already talked about, you know, how you'd overcome the specific challenges that season, key times to think about planting, some of the latest insights and technology, just a wide range of content that the new would resonate directly with farmers. And it features, and it's still going today, I should say, there's still a printed publication you can pick up in a John Deere, uh, John Deere dealership, but it's available online as well, and they've expanded on that to create very similar products for their different subsectors, things like forestry, um, groundskeeping, things like that. But it's a really powerful tool. What it's doing is it's featuring stories of real people and it's got really valuable advice. It's, it knows its audience inside out because it's been doing it so long and it means it's constantly relevant. People still go back to it. It's a lifeline, as I've said, it's a lifeline for farmers who know they can pick up this copy, get the latest insights, get the latest valuable information and it's meant that John Deere loyalty is off the scale. I mean, you've only got to go around any agricultural show and like 50% of the audience will be wearing green and gold. It means that John Deere's demonstrated what it is and it's the go-to brand. So if you've got any doubts at all about why content marketing is valuable, just look at what it's done for John Deere. It's gone from a small little agricultural startup in the States to arguably the biggest agricultural brand in the world and that's a lot to do with the way it shared its content and showed its expertise, showed it knows what it's doing and it is the brand to trust. So as I've said, content marketing is massively important but the one thing to remember with it all is it's about being found and being trusted. Content will help you show up when they hit the Google button and when they've started reading your content and engaging with it, they're gonna trust you and they're gonna, when they're coming to actually start making those buying decisions in this stop, they're already gonna feel like they know you and that makes the conversations a whole lot easier. Thank you. We're always happy to talk about content. So if you do have any questions, pick up the phone and we'll have a chat about it and we'll see you in the next video.